episode 199, Zodiac Killer Case, Paul Doer. So this Zodiac suspect's name, Paul Doer, is on the internet because this gentleman, Jared Kobeck, wrote a book, How to Find Zodiac, and he feels that this might be the Zodiac. And he found this out by looking at uh, the writings and writings to the editor of certain small magazines in the Vallejo area. And he came across this gentleman that lived in Fairview, California. So last weekend, I was looking in the Vallejo City Directory for suspects with the initials RH. And I would find somebody, look at their address, and once I looked and noticed someone that lived close to Betty Jo Jensen. So then I realized I can look at Betty Jo Jensen's neighbors and see who they were. So I came across this listing and I saw this name below her name, her father's name, Duer. And that seemed familiar. And then I remembered the Paul. And so then I thought of him as a suspect. So after doing some more research and looking through, I found this. And you can see Lester C, Constance, and their children, Lester H and Gary. And they were, they lived across the street from Betty Lou Jensen. And so I thought that was very significant. And so I wanted to know if they are relatives of Paul. Now on this um, listing under 1966, you can see Paul A. Duer is listed by them and he has a P.O. box at 1444 at the Vallejo Post Office. And so I was really eager to find a connection to Lester and Paul, if that's a uncle or brother or something like that. So I spent several hours trying to get a connection or find a connection between Lester and Paul. And it's just not there. I'm going to go into Paul's background, but Lester is from a different part of the country and it doesn't look like he has any relation to Paul. So the remainder of this video is going to cover Paul. So Paul was born on April 1st, 1927 and here's a photograph I believe of him in his high school I'm not a hundred percent sure but you can't see much anyway okay and then I came across this document that gives you some decent information so the front is on the left and the back is on the right and you can see his parents and you can see his parents, his mother has a different last name. And that's because his parents split up or divorced in the 1930s. They married around 1925. This document also shows his military service from April 13th, 1945 until March 2nd, 1946. And he might have re-enlisted sometime after this. This document's from 1950. Now, Paul married Rose M. sometime in the 1950s, and they lived here in Sharon, Pennsylvania, in 1959. And around this time, his mother died. And then shortly after this, they moved to 
Northern California. So I found this 1965 listing where Paul lived with his wife in Fairfield, California and worked on at Mare Island near or in Vallejo. And so let's take a look where what that looks like. So you can see that uh, Fairfield is about 20 minutes away from Vallejo. And so it's a pretty good commute, but not unreasonable. And you can see the 680 going south. And you'd have to go that way to hook up on Lake Herman Road. And then you can also see that he had, Paul had a, a P.O. box in Vallejo in 1966. All right, now I'm just going to show the 1968 listing that he lived at a new address at 225 East Utah Street. And then I'm going to show the 1970 listing and it includes his daughter, Gloria, who was a student and I think this is the year she graduated high school, that or 1969. Okay, and last but not least, here's a picture of Paul. And I believe this was taken sometime during the 1960s. And here's a side-by-side -side look at Paul compared to the sketch of the Zodiac Killer from San Francisco. And you can see if they look similar or not. Well, that ends this episode of Unsolved. And next weekend, I will come back to this gentleman and do more in-depth. So, see you next time.